Hold on a second if I just click uh, Let's go with uh, visual lobby, create a lobby there. Gonna use Zerg In this I won't be doing uh, normal Add AI, uh, easy Okay, this time I'm gonna add Whatever, I'm not gonna be playing uh, this match for real So let's start the game I'm gonna show this pretty fast how this goes. So I'm gonna show you this. Uh, uh, this is gonna be fast. It's not gonna be full plates. Zerg are the strongest faction <laughs> by far guys they don't need that much crypt humor spread <coughs> because they can have the overlord and uh, generate creep as well as uh, uh, another. Ah. Malta. They have the overlord spawning creep, so yeah, let me come to this mammer. And in my opinion, the Zerg Hatcher should cost 400 as well. And I'm gonna show you right now why. Early on, you can't do anything against uh, to stop the Zerg aggression. Y you need to spread your overlords all over the map. That's Zerg. Okay. All over the map for scouting purposes as well as generate creep on map that they can walk around. You need the overlord speed pretty fast. Uh, what's the overlord speed? Yeah, this. You need it. You can get it from tier one, and you do need to get it from tier one to put it uh, correctly. So you get to spread trips creep. Uh, what's the? Ah, I forgot the spawning pool. Now, here is how we're gonna start with this uh, tricks. As you see, I'm building double spawn pools. Of course, not in early, early on the game, but in the mid game, kind of, you need to start cloning your buildings more than uh, more than once. Of course, you always need double uh, of, uh, or triple of these research buildings. Uh, you know, this the queens uh, overload generate creep. So you get to spread creep and you. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna be playing the entire map, so. They can start, start with hatch first, pretty safe opening. We require more minerals. And they were triple hatch early on, so they get all the. Now, this double later in the game, kind of in the mid game, you get to make all the researches fast. Now, of course, like guys, like I said, see this, uh, you won't be doing this early on. The second pool will come like in, in the mid game, uh, where you get also to do the uh, double roach warren in the mid game, of course. We require more minerals. We're talking about the mid game here. Not in the one base, spread all over the Zerg creep. More minerals. We require more minerals. Okay. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. You know, there are many queens, of course, you do want to have them. The burrow, you do need it, it's uh, necessary, and this is also a must. Zerg are the strongest faction to play with. They got the best production, they got... Uh, and essentially you can never cut the production of Zerg units because they get to... they have just two of each uh, building and very hard to kill them, spread all over the map where we don't know where to find them. Now let me take up on layer first somewhere. Ah, uh, After I need a speed hive, okay. 
let's go to That's it. Uh, in this is gonna be. I'm gonna finish the this run uh, pretty soon. Of course, queens will be just. I didn't build them at the moment. Uh, of course, queens will be around, but the zerg spreading creep. You understand what I'm talking about here? Uh, you don't need to spread tumors, and you can focus on uh, that much, and you can focus on. Uh, uh, on uh, these lar lar lava injections and you don't need just one macro hatcher so let's say you pick this uh, base as well as well as this base kind of fast now I'm not doing it correctly because you know I'm not uh, the best player in the world but uh, uh, let's go here taking a lot of bases fast because of this low cost you get to build this Α, έπρεπε να το έχω ήδη κάνει καταρχάς αυτό Δεν είναι ματάει σκάραπας You get to build units at the same time Α, έτσι είναι ζερκ Να, τις κόστος 25-25 yeah, very, it's very cheap and think about I have a hatcher here, a hatcher here already, a hatcher here. Queens, uh, overlords, poop creep. Look at this. Look how fast they get to. I don't have another overlord. So let's make one. You can never cut the zerg out of production. They will always keep spreading uh, units on you. They will just keep uh, spreading you, sending units to give you and give you health. So, of course, I'm not gonna. Uh, you need to harass already the enemy. Now, I didn't make any harassment team. Uh, the second pool would come around here. Spawning. Pool. Look at this. Take another. You do need to have your overlords like this. The queens will mostly focus on uh, macro. You, the queens mostly will focus on uh, not on crypt humor, but you can spread here to save energy, as you see. Spreading both the tumors and doing the lara injections because you now need only one crypt humor for all this area. While in previous they get shot. The crit humors getting, uh, are getting hit when they get cleared up. Now it's more, it's far easier. It's far easier. Uh, you just move an over, and they are also transport unit. Oh, hold on a second. I got, I can put the queen inside the overlord. Put her inside the overlord, and this guy spreads its tumor on its own. This put her inside. Okay, morph to overseer. Ah, there it is. Okay, I make him a transport, the overlord. Again, like I said, by now I should have all these hatcheries. Let's. Just build them to show you how. I mean, much earlier than now. Much, much earlier now, but you know, I fucked it up. So, have this overlord moving around the map with this good speed. Somewhere, let's say, where I want to have tumor. Where I plan to make an attack, I want to secure this position, and I want to have tumor. 
So what do I do? Okay, here's what I do. Just go over here. Start spreading creep. Unload the queen. Spread the tumor. There it is. Tumor down. Getting inside again. I got this going. I don't need to stay here anymore. Then I go to another spot that I want to spread tumor. We need to micro this, okay? There we go. Tumor spreading. You need to macro this, of course, and you need to have do this on a lot of spots at the same time all over on the map. Again, there we go again here, spreading tumor. Unloading the queen. Another tumor. There it is. Tumor is being spread. Getting in the transport again. Getting in the transport again and moving around. Out to the next spot I want to spread humor. Now again as I said you need to do this with uh, many overlords at the same time. Okay, let's build some queens. Uh, over here. Sp spreading humor. Unloading the queen. Another humor. Okay, I'm getting attacked now but it doesn't matter. Of course you can't cancel your own. Look at this, now you can do it a bit faster, where is it? Upgrade this. Besides I don't need this, move here. Well, people will say, okay man, where are the... What are you saying, man? I mean, uh, why others don't do it? Are they got any problem or something? No, of course not. They just... Uh, well, I guess some other players also do this. You need to spread the creep much easier. Are you the smart guy or something and you do it? No. <laughs> and other players keep doing it, so right here, spreading the creep, just showing here how this goes, where is another overlord, have another queen, where is, where did they go, okay there it is, uh, here, scooping the tumor, and loading the queen, I also get to use this, taking another up here, ah, Marist. Also, the drones, they are not to be given f uh, to get killed for free, no. The drones, guys, they are a, a, a fighting with a... I guess does the tumor die? If that humor is out of creep because you get to do this fast. I mean, you got the idea. Let's see. At this spot. Okay, when I spawn it. That's now, of course, it's an example. Okay. Go there, drop it in. There we go. We don't need to cancel the. We just have it automatically and move him, it gets moved and so on. Yeah, you can spread this, guys. Ah, you need to have vision. Okay, I didn't know that. Tumors also provide you with vision, so that's a huge. Uh, know what's coming. I get to move him here. I get to move this guy over here. Just an example, as I said, get to spread the tumor here, spread this tumor over here. Of course, more tumors means faster spread, but you know what I'm talking about here. 
Uh, apa? Nah, saiki. Ato, masa pamedo. Uh, putting out the queen again. Simul, get it. Get it. Move around. You know what I'm talking about here. In general, you spread the creep like this. And, uh, I mean, yeah, my... I should have by now... Take on this. Take on this. My PC is uh, taken. I mean, not just by now. Ages now. Taking this. Uh, don't hesitate, even take this for example. Okay, get to kill, kill the tumor. Every base in general expand. Also, make not just one macro hatchery. Look at this. Uh, Make a lot of macro ha macro hatcheries as well as constructed generated tumors as we well as queens to, in to queens to uh, inject them with larvae and the production becomes huge. I mean, the swarm you can't stop them, and of course they get to macro their tons of zerglings all over the map. Minerals. You know what I'm talking about. So this is the zerg guide. Oops, forgot to... This is a Zerg guys, you get to spread the creep like... You get to spread the creep, you get to... Again, as I said, every drone isn't... It's a unit, it's a very strong fighting unit. If I have the capabilities. And the thing is, because you get to build... Spine crawlers and uh, spore crawlers. So think about uh, in the end of the kind of the end of the map to having like uh, let's build this somewhere. Uh, you get to move them, of course. Taking up the queen. You don't need to pay for this to become uh, a transport, but that's fine. In the end, uh, you become like all think think about all the workers making them into uh, spores when needed and then sending all these huge into this script that you spread with overloads uh. in the front lines and putting them uh, let's see if it uh, you just get to instant drop it the creep and you get it let's see if we can does it die if it gets off creep now it's got detected but no it doesn't die there it is okay th this it and this is how you spread it you can bring all these uh, because you get to uproot them and you can move them all like think about a hundred spore crawlers which doesn't cost population anymore and uh, spine crawlers and spore crawlers moving in the battlefield spreading creep placing them because these are like a fighting unit many don't think about it they complain about because they are just spoiled they complain about uh, everything when <laughs> that they lose which is they're just useless spoiled you get to move them okay this is gonna go down but coming it's gonna get positioned here now it's gonna take some damage of course there it is the reinforcement scheme the tank damage okay look how much damage they tank armor is too whoa and they regenerate so i don't know what 
can someone ask for and you get to produce with the buildings within the, the, this love uh, in, uh, injection all the time so if you move faster when you don't poop lora lover uh, poop creep poop i mean sp spawn creep uh, you know, queens will be have all the time in the world. I mean, most of them will be focused on injecting lava, and you're gonna have huge production. Look at this. Think about this being full of uh, lava and sending units. It's a swarm. You can't stop that. And like I said, the workers, they are spine crawlers and spore crawlers, uh, potentially. So, with which doesn't cost any population cap, because they are. So you get to save your population cap as well. So this is it, which is huge for uh, the Zerg. And again, like I said, that you gotta build mo multiple, for example, one here, one uh, here. Uh, spread all over the map. The opponent won't have any clue where you have positioned your buildings. Uh, not in the main base necessarily. Uh, here. Okay, uh, this is now just the example. Okay, you don't want to build them that f much in the front lines. Uh, uh, over here. And this is my Zerg guide. Uh, okay, I got you. Got to. That other two hydrators then. A twin tumor is under attack. Okay, yeah, they got detection obviously. And this is the Zerg guide, guys. Look. One tumor can also support these. Uh, the spine crawlers from not dying in the front lines. That's what I was saying. You can bring them in the front lines of course guys you do need to have the barrow research enough though hydralisk can't range okay enough though okay then speed nalister so do you have a kill i guess i don't know i guess i don't know i come a kill i don't know lurker then like i said they they won't have any idea where your buildings are positioned so many and again like I said the majority of the queens will be focusing on spreading uh, spreading the Winner, but yeah. And let's build this here. You can't be uh, Zerga is sorry, no production hold because if uh, Protoss or Terran lose their buildings, there is no production. But here, the you with uh, just two of them, the opponent can't uh, find the second one. It's very hard for him. You get to have all the ma oh, okay, okay. Uh, here it was supposed to be a hatchery. So this is my Zerg uh, advice, uh, really. I mean, guide, but you didn't play much. That's an advice. You don't want to make the researches, you get to do double uh, uh, research. All the researches in a single go. For example, I'll get this. Alright. Huh. Alright, uh, hmm. of course, as you see now, I, I am having both there. It's uh, guys, as you get to do it, Zerg, it's not it's easy. Maybe start building double the buildings in the late game, in uh, I guess when you are under threat. So, as I was saying, let's have a look at this building this. 
in the same time building this too okay uh, not in the same time but in the same time i mean you have the resources you have everything you have <laughs> it's a minor you get to build everything uh, really fast and you know uh, that's uh, how you just uh, they are the in my opinion the strongest race and of course they're not gonna let you just take your natural they're gonna attack you early on with rush you with units just to prevent you from uh, some good amount of time so that's the Zerg. Hold on, what's the range? That is. That's a pretty good range. The Zerg are the hardest. Uh, the ta are the easiest faction to play with, the strongest one. So, this is the end of this guide. Tips mostly, really. Thanks for watching. Be well, and see you in the next cast.